how to find your type as an actor? I love this question. It's so much fun, um, especially when you're first starting out and you don't know what your type or your essence is. Let's first define what your type is, what your essence is. Um, your essence is pretty much the type of vibe, I like to say in millennial terms, the type of vibe that you give off when you walk into a room. So people who don't know me when I walk off like again not speaking not anything when i walk into a room i've gotten the vibe that i have an rbf yes i've gotten that that i come off like a little bit like very like i'm i come off strong i come off very like um almost like masculine i guess not i don't want to say masculine but just very like strong and bold um that i've been through stuff <laughs> that i you know i've seen some stuff um like it's the kind of vibe like even like i've gotten before like retired military vet um so it's the vibe and the aura that you give off when you walk into a room. The best way to figure out what your essence is, my lamp is crooked. The best way, I'll fix that later. The best way to find um, how to find your essence is through um, acting classes. Now, type is a little, I, a lot of you, people use them like, um, a lot of people use them like interchangeably. Um, but there, I think there is a slight difference because the essence is pretty much like the, the vibe of, of who you are as an actor, the voice, your voice when it comes to an actor, how you interpret the role when, it, when you are when, as, a, as an actor. Type is like your look, what your look says about you and the type of roles that are currently filming and where you fit. So for me, my type is I'm Hispanic, I'm Latina, I'm plus size, I am... Um, you know, I can I can be ethnically ambiguous. I've gotten a lot of like um, roles for like Polynesian type roles, indigenous, which I am. My lineage is indigenous um, Mexican, <laughs> indigenous Latina. Um, but not only it doesn't just come down to like race or ethnicity, but also like my body type. And uh, you know, I have I'm pluses, but I I also have like a very athletic build as well. So I go out for a lot of cops, a lot of guards, a lot of military, retired veterans. Like those are the type of roles that I book that are mainly my bread and butter. But also I go out for nurses, the nurturing mom, the nurturing nurse. Um, I go, I do a lot, I get a lot of teacher roles, a lot of like the cool best friend roles, um, a lot of like struggling mom or like like uh, someone going through abuse or some something like, you know, something to that extent. Um, those are the type of roles that I mainly go out for. I don't go out for like the ditzy blonde or like the supermodel or like the Miss Universe contestant or like um, the geeky nerd, which I have gotten like one or two roles about that, but it, it, it was very particular. Anyway, so how do you find your type and your essence? The best way, and this is how I did it, the best way to find your type and your essence is through acting classes. I was lucky to where I had numerous classes first starting out that the exercise for the class was to um, write down the types and the characteristics of, of the person. Like the teacher would call the person up to the front of the class and be like, hey, what vibe, what essence, what type does this person Go, come off of what do you see as their occupation being what do you see them you know what kind of personality do you think that they have and I remember like I I got like a service worker actually at the time I didn't get like cop guard type of roles but I think that was because I was very like significantly younger I said I had more of a baby face um but um I got like um customer service worker who hated her job young mom maid housekeeping um or housekeeper I should say I got um uh, what else did I get? I, I don't even remember. It was so long ago. And as I've gotten older, my face has gotten more mature. I've gained and lost some weight, gained it again and lost it. You know, it's just my type changes, but it's also kind of in the same realm, if that makes sense. It's like in the same ballpark. So the best way to find um, your type and your essence, went blank for a second, is to go to an acting class and just like ask, be like, hey, what vibe do I give off? What if you didn't know me? What would my occupation be? Or what do you think my occupation would be? What would, would I do for a living? Do you think I would have kids? Do you think I would be mean? Do you think I would be nice? Like that kind of thing. Um, hopefully, if a, if you're in a good acting class, they already do that. If you're like an intro to acting class, they already do that for you. Another way to do it is just to like get a group of friends and ask. And my only I guess my only problem with that be a lot of them will sit like my friends are like my biggest hype girls and they'll be like girl you a baddie you look like a baddie if I didn't like they would that's just my friends you guys but you have to be like okay guys let's let's be honest if you didn't know me what would you think my occupation would be what vibe do you think I would be mean just tell them to be as objective as possible you can ask your friends you can ask your family 
But another great way if you're comfortable with, um, I'm an extrovert, so I didn't have any problem with this, but I know for introverts, it could be a little intimidating. Ask strangers, like if you're at Starbucks waiting in line, if you're at Target striking up a conversation with a, a random person or um, just general, just ask strangers like, hey, I know this is weird, but I need this for a class. What kind of vibe do I give off of? If you say like, hey, I just need this for a class, I'm sure they would like totally understand. Um, or you can even ask people you haven't talked to in a while as well, because that way they kind of dissociated for you for a little bit. So they're a little bit more objective. But that would be the best way to um, to find your type. So then once you get your type and your essence, look at market research, y'all. We're going to talk about market research. Look at the shows that are filming in your area that you're based in and where your type is being cast. So if you're in New York and like me, you go out for a lot of cops and guards roles, New York with all those procedurals going on and filming in New York, it would be a wonderful market for me, right? Um, because again, cops and guards are my bread and butter. So um, study your market, study where your type is being cast, you know, and 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 go from there and, and start making those connections with those casting directors and start networking working and start um, honing in on your craft and start exploring that type. So if you, like me, this is the best example, I go out for a lot of cops and guards, I've started taking, like, you know, I started training and shooting and um, learning the um, ballistics and learning the vocabulary of guns and, and weapons and, and um, you know, even like trying to book like a, I'm currently in the process of that, but trying to book like a ride along with a cop or um, a police, um, someone in the in law enforcement in in my town to um really study um what it is to be a cop because because i'm going out like those are my bread and butter guys so i have to know what i'm doing right so really do research on your type figure out what the, you know just figure out the vocabulary how they talk how even if it's something so unfamiliar with you like if you're like one of like if you're blonde but you're like super smart you love video games and you know you're just you know you kind of maybe skate but then you're going out for a lot of like sorority type of blondes blonde roles like ditzy blonde roles then you better start learning about like sorority culture you need to start learning about you know how they talk look at influencers sorry influencers are all are diverse but like just like look at like the stereotypical influencer what people think of influencers because if you're blonde you're probably going to go out for that stereotypical influencer role so i hope this helps let me know what you guys think bye